Two million people are undetained, free, roaming about the country. They've gone before a judge. A judge has issued a final order of removal. How many ICE agents do you need to deport them? Uh, Congressman, I think um, uh, what we need is legislation to fix a broken immigration system. Because well, let me, you don't need can, legislation to overcome a final order of removal, right? Look, I get it. You want comprehensive immigration reform and a big amnesty thing. Very unlikely that's going to happen. So we have to operate under the laws that exist now. So under the laws that exist now, a judge has told 1.2 million people that they have no right to be here. Do you plan to remove those 1.2 million people? Um, uh, Congressman, with the resources we have, and I would appreciate the opportunity to answer your question fully, with the resources we have, we have to allocate those resources. How, to how much money do you need to deport all of them? How much money? To, to, how many agents? To, to, to um, deport the 1.2 million who a judge has said has no right to be here. Uh, uh, Congressman, uh, the there are a number of questions that your question uh, raises with respect to whether uh, all of those individuals actually have been given uh, due process? No, 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 no they have. They, yes, because these are the people who've had the due process, okay? And here's the point. You have no plan to remove them. You don't know how many ICE agents it would take, and you don't know how much money it would take, because you actually don't want to remove them. Oh. That's why you issued the September 30th guidance that says, well, you know, if you haven't committed a crime and you just came to our country illegally, we're not going to remove you. Isn't that your position? Uh, no, it isn't, Congressman. Not at all. Well, then then, then you, what is your plan to remove the 1.2 million? Let me, if, if I may, as a- Do you have one? As, yes, yes, we do. If, if I may, sure. Congressman, as a former prosecutor, let me ask you a question. If one has a finite uh, amount of resources and one has a finite number of hours, and one has a choice of removing 20 shoplifters or three um, uh, fugitive armed bank robbers, how would you spend your time? Well, I know how you've spent yours. I know how you've spent yours by, by decreasing by 48% the number of criminals you arrest, by deporting 63% fewer convicted criminals. You have the lowest deportation rate in the history of the department, right? Your data that you cite is misleading. No, it's your data. This is actually what your own agency is reporting. So do you think that it just might be the case that one reason that we will encounter the highest number of illegal immigrations in our nation's history this month and next month because everybody knows that even if they come here, even if they go through the removal procedures, even if a judge issues a final order, you still think there might be more due process and you have no plan to remove them. And then when I ask you what the plan is, you say, oh, well, resources, I got to make finite decisions. I go back to my first question, how many ICE agents to remove the 1.2 million? Um, Congressman, I'd be pleased to provide you with a resourcing uh, data subsequent to this hearing, if I may. And I think it's I telling speak. that you, I, I think it's if, telling that you got plans for pronouns and you got plans for misinformation. But when it comes to the plan to remove the people that have had due process, you don't have one at all. Now, 800,000 people have encountered your CBP agents, and those folks have been released into the country. Like some of those people are going to commit crimes, aren't they? Uh, Congressman, uh, may I have a moment to answer uh, I, your questions? Will some uh, of the 800,000 commit crimes, yes or no? Uh, undoubtedly. <laughs> undoubtedly. And so the Americans who are the victims of the crimes for the people that you release in the country are collateral damage that you are willing to accept in order to have our border function as a turnstile. You're willing to accept that collateral damage. Congressman, I couldn't disagree with you more. Uh, let, me, let me give you, if I can, some data uh, that will actually... Well, more than the data. How about this? Well, how, did it, how did it feel to you when you went to the border and the Border Patrol agents turned their back on you? Uh, one uh, Border Patrol agent uh, turned his back on me, and I addressed that as uh, was only the, leader, one? the leader of the Department of Homeland Security. Just a quick correction. It was only one Border Patrol agent that turned his back on the DHS secretary, but he was doing it on behalf of a group of Border Patrol agents who had a real problem with Biden's border policy. So if I can return to data because I want to um, we make see sure that you have accurate information. Everyone knows that you have more people coming in than ever and you're removing fewer people than ever and it's because you have no plan and because it's on purpose. See, I don't buy the theory that you don't know how to do this. I think you're actually a highly competent dude. 
But the reality is you, your plan is to bring these people in and to send the message to the smugglers and the criminals that they will never have to leave. That's why your workforce turns their back on you. And you have tools that you could use to deport these people. You have facial recognition. You have flights going all over the country dropping people off. And I think we ought to use the best tools in the country to find these folks, round them up like they were at the Capitol on January 6th, and deport every last one of them. <laughs>